Hey, what's going on YouTubers? I'm Lily and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the endocrine system and hormone replacement therapy. So really quickly before we start the video, thank you guys so much for 1,000 views on one YouTube video. That's insane. My nine month hormone update has gotten so many views on it. I'm really glad that people have been watching it and hopefully have learned some things in regards hormone replacement therapy and gender transition. And I really hope, you know, I've just helped someone who may be thinking about going through it. Who knows? But thank you guys so much for 1,000 views. You're awesome. So on the list for today's video is the endocrine system. I really wanted to actually make a video about your sleep cycles and breast development, but I thought the best thing to do is to give you guys an introduction to the endocrine system and how it works with your hormone replacement therapy so we can get a greater idea of how these things work. Because the science behind this is very important and I think a lot of trans people may not know the science behind what's happening to their bodies and I think they should know. I think it's good to know the basic science of how your hormones work. Just so you guys know, I'm not a scientist or a biologist or any of that kind of crack. I just know about it. I've learned about it. And um, don't take everything I said for granted. A lot of this is just general, easy to find information. So I just want to lay it down as simple as possible for you guys. So what are your major hormone glands and functions. Well, your endocrine system consists of a lot of glands. And the main ones, I guess, are your pituitary gland, which is a governing gland, which is right up here in the middle of your brain. There's your islets of Langerlin, which are these little nodes that cover your pancreas. And they kind of control your blood sugar levels, as, among other things they make insulin, which is a hormone. You then have ovaries for girls and testes for boys. Each of those make your sex hormone or hormones. Next up is your thyroid or parathyroid, which both exist in your neck. Both of those control your metabolic rate and your growth rate. Next up is your adrenal glands, which is located right above your kidneys, and they control your flight or fight hormone, adrenaline. And then overall, the governing body over all of these things is your hypothalamus, which is at the top of your spine at the back of your head. And that controls all of this. It's the governing one. And it also controls your bodily temperature. So what do you need to know about all of those things? Well. Let me tell you, your hormone replacement therapy affects every one of those parts of your body. It does. Even in the tiniest way possible. So, HRT drugs. What's out there? Well, for male to female people, you have the Gosrelin Zolidex implant. For male to female people, the drugs are the Gosrelin Zolidex implant, which is like a little bar, a hormone bar. It was originally created to treat uh, sufferers of cancer, turns out prostate cancer to be specific, and ovarian cancer in women. Crazy, right? Next up, you have the Femitab Estradiol, which is obviously a hormone supplement which was originally created for women who are going through their menopause. So funnily enough, these drugs weren't originally created for transgender people. They were actually created for other reasons, but it turns out they were able to help transgender people too. But my issue with that is that these drugs aren't specifically outfitted for transgender people and they have other purposes, which means they have side effects that transgender people may not need because they're not suffering from cancer effects. I know, guys, the big C is kind of a daunting subject to talk about, but it's the truth. Zolidex was originally a cancer drug. So how does Zolidex as a drug affect your endocrine system? Well, let me tell you. Once your Zolidex gets implanted right here in your tummy, what it does is it contacts your hypothalamus. It releases a hormone that tells your hypothalamus, which also tells your pituitary gland, which also tells your testes, that you're making too much testosterone for yourself. 
It's what's called seesaw balance effect, where the testes, the pituitary gland, and the hypothalamus are all in a constant balancing system where hormone levels rise and fall depending on what the signals tell each other through a neural network. But it's a very slow rate. It doesn't happen very fast. It doesn't jump back and forward. It's a slow swing. So what Zolodex does is it tells your hypothalamus that your testes are making too much testosterone. So then your hypothalamus releases a hormone to tell your pituitary gland to tell your testes to stop. Even though it's not making too much, it's actually making normal amounts. So then it starts to drop. Once that starts to drop, all the other pieces of your endocrine system start to make up for the lack of that hormone being produced, which means you have a lot more hormonal activity happening in your body. Your hypothalamus, first off, gets very confused and it believes that it needs to raise the temperature of the skin, hence you get hot flushes. This is the same effect as women who experience a menopausal state. Their estrogen levels drop too low and their hypothalamus creates a higher temperature. Your islets of Langerlin that make insulin make themselves overwork a little bit more. So you're a lot more sensitive to insulin, which means you could find yourself at a low blood sugar rate, which can be dangerous. So always keep sugar on yourselves, guys, especially you diabetics out there. So as your testosterone level drops, your body falls into a state of menopause where it doesn't have a sex hormone. Like I said, hot flashes, and your sleep cycle starts to weigh. Erratic, completely erratic, I swear. You're kept in this state for up to three months, which is kind of considered the average by the HSE until they introduce to you a small one milligram level of the estradiol. What does the estradiol do for your body? Well, let me tell you. It helps balance out your sex hormone and it lets your hypothalamus receive signals that there's a secondary sex hormone in the body so it doesn't have to overact as much. This reduces the rate of hot flushes and sleep loss, among other positive side effects that transgender people so love to have. Because estrogen and testosterone are two very different hormones that work in different ways for your body, things like your thyroid and parathyroid react differently to its presence. This in turn leads to a slowing down of your metabolism, which is why girls don't burn fat as fast as guys. And it means you'll gain a little bit of weight and your fat distribution will work differently. The science is important. But this is how HRT actually works. It balances out and redistributes the seesaw effect that happens between all of your endocrine glands and throws them out of synchronicity and then tries to bring them back into synchronicity for your body's gender change. Which is why some people find that the first three months of hormone replacement therapy to be the hardest. What do you guys think about hormone therapy and what it does for your body? I really want to learn more about what you female to male people go through. I'd really like to know more about the science behind your gender changes because really I only know about the female to male side. Let me know in the comments below or send me a link to a response video. I look forward to seeing you guys again in the future. More videos. <laughs> I really hope you guys share this one out because I think it's important that people know what's going on with their bodies when they're going through HRT. Until next time, guys. All the love. Don't forget, YouTubers, you can also interact with me on Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. So I hope to see you guys there. Bye-bye.